All right, what I've got here is one of our stamps that we carry, these rubber stamps with the foam backing. They're great to use with your color concentrates. Um, you can also use them with the enamels. I have used them by adding the layering mix in the enamel 50-50, and then you apply it to the stamp. And I like to apply with the roller brush and then take it and stamp it down. And when you uh, put it on the piece, then you need to kind of pat it in to make sure all those areas are level with your glass. The glass needs to be as smooth as possible. Uh, so if you're working with uh, 90 COE, sometimes it has a texture to it. So you may want to fire that um, just hot enough to smooth it out if you have trouble stamping on the 90. Okay, so the roller sponges come in a pack. They are three different sizes. You can tell mine is well used. Um, and you'll check the, uh, all you gotta do is type in roller sponge within the search bar on the website and you'll be able to find that. Uh, they're very inexpensive. I think it's $5.99 for that pack. We also have uh, a strip of pods. So these have the lids that snap shut. They're a little under a, they're probably a quarter of an ounce, I would say, as far as the size goes. Uh, we also have, so these are available by the strip. They come in the strip of nine. We also have um, the individual pod cups so that you could put your enamels in them and then you can label them or right on there. Okay, so there's a 12 pieces in that kit and all you got to do is type in uh, pods on the website and you'll find those. We also have, uh, these are the half ounce uh, jars that fit in the stands that we have on the website. So the jars are individual and then you can mix your enamel like I've done here. I've labeled it, mix your enamel up in those and keep them fresh. So it's just a little bit larger container than what these are or these are. Okay, so that gives you uh, three different options and it really depends on uh, price what you're what you want to spend okay uh, these pods that have the caps on them also fit in our pallet and storage cup container so these are removable you can do some mixing here or lay your uh, toothpick and your q-tip just different things so these are just additional ones if you want to use the palette, but you have more colors and you want to mix those up and then you can put them in here so that they don't move around on your table. So that's just another uh, tool that we have. And this is the mixing tool for the uh, enamels. Okay, this is a metal spatula and uh, I've taken mine and uh, had somebody put these polymer clay. It's a little easier to handle, so you can do that yourself. Okay. Now let's go over just some basic uh, mixing. Okay, so um, when you get ready to mix your enamels, so I have my particular colors are in my little half ounce jars that we sell. Okay, so put your dry enamel into your container, whatever you're using. Um, you know, you can even mix in these little uh, bubble pallets if you wanted. Um, I like the idea that I can leave it in my jar and not waste my product. Uh, the bubble pallet is good if you only mix what you want right then, but it is going to dry out in there, even with the lids that come on those. Okay, so all the enamels come dry. And this particular one is a half ounce. This is deep cerulean that I'm using. And then we have our glass medium that we mix with. So I'm gonna add three or four drops of the medium. And then I'm gonna stir. Add a couple more. And until you're familiar with how much powder to how much liquid I'm going to put some more powder in there because I want to be able to show you um, the drip test. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to add more medium mix. You see how dry that is? Okay, so it definitely, let's come in a little closer. So if you're new to mixing the enamels up, just add one or two drops at a time until you get familiar with how much color to how much um, powder, or excuse me, how much powder to how much liquid. Okay, so I've got, so when you're done mixing, wipe off the tool on the edge of the container, whatever you're using. This one, because I don't have a lot in it, I'm going to tilt it to the side so that I can get in there to the, um, so I can get a good load. Okay, so dip it in to that, pull it straight out, one, two, three. Okay, so it dipped by the count of three, so let's do that again. Ready, in and out, one, two, three. So it needs to be by the count of two to three, uh, maybe four, to be the proper consistency. But don't mix it and then go in and dip because it's all over your palette. You've got to wipe that excess off. Ready, one, two, three, four. So this is good to go, all right? So you have to wipe off what's on your, you'll get a false, um, drip test if you try to do it where it's not uh, not with a clean tool. Okay, so let me just show you what we just mixed up real quick. So I'm going to scoop in there and get some product and I'm going to just let it fall down. I'm not, I'm not bending the bristles like this because you can see, see how that's very translucent. So you're going to dip in, pull and puddle it, and just, and if you brush it and you start seeing the glass open up, if it doesn't close up right away, okay, so watch that. See how it seals itself and closes up? So that's a good consistency, but try not to do a lot of brushing. What you're doing is just pulling and pushing what's there on the surface, okay? So if you were to hold that up, with the light, you can see that it's fairly solid. So uh, working on a light board, that's another, um, what I call an essential for your glass painting, because then if the light's underneath it, then you can see if that is solid, okay? All right, there's some of your basics for the enamels, and you can find all of these on our website at www.colorsforearth.com.